today I'd like to share with you all how I make the famous crepes that everybody loves in our house they're a staple basically i have the batter in the fridge for every day of the week just in case we want a nice filling breakfast or lunch snack or just an easygoing dinner dessert so i have the batter in the fridge all the time i just prepare it ahead of time crepes are easy to make because the ingredients are simple and commonly found in most kitchens all you need is flour milk eggs and a pinch of salt you can add as many eggs as you like i don't have a fixed recipe but i will put one together so i'll put it down in the description box below but you can add more eggs from a protein which i do sometimes for the kids because it's a filling dish so it's actually good for them and it's good for us there's the milk there's the eggs and obviously the fruit or vegetables whatever you want to fill them with So welcome back to the Cozy Cookhouse and I'm so glad to share with you all the recipe that really blesses my family every single day which is the famous crepes. Let's get started. So like I said, I do not have a fixed recipe. I've been doing this for over 20 years and I just go with the flow. Basically, you just have to make sure that you have the right consistency. So to the flour, you add the eggs and then you add some sugar, a pinch of salt, some vanilla extract and of course the milk. I do not add any water because I like it to be just with milk and the rest of the ingredients. So it's more substantial and nutritious for my family. But you can just use more water instead of milk if you don't have enough milk on hand. So it's really, really easy to prepare. The batter needs to be smooth. So basically we just add the milk slowly and then we mix and add more and more as we go until we get a thinner batter. So it has to be thinner than the regular pancake batter, which is a thicker consistency. Now, the second option you can use is the Ninja mixer or blender. Or you can just use a stand mixer, okay, add as many eggs as you want. Like I said, you can use the hand mixer as long as you get the right consistency. This is why it's so easy to make the crepes. So here is my other way of doing it. It's really easy. Just throw everything into the mixer there, into the blender, pop it on, turn it on and let the blender do its thing until you get the right consistency. So I add the milk. I kind of eyeball it. So to the same amount of flour, I put the same amount of milk. And then blend it and see how it is. if it's too thick which it is here then i'm just adding a little bit more milk you just check for consistency again this looks more like a pancake batter so i'm just putting a little bit more milk blend it up again for another 20 seconds and then check for the consistency again and it's much thinner so it's good to go it literally takes minutes to put together for me it takes i don't know four or five minutes and i make more batter not just a little bit because i like to keep it in the fridge so i have it for two three days and it does not go bad and i always have it on hand so if we want so like a quick snack we just pull it up and we fry a few crepes and we're good to go so make sure you oil your pan i like to use grapeseed oil because it's good for high heat it won't burn and it's not so toxic for the body you can also use butter like other people do but i don't like to do that because it burns quickly now you make sure the edges are turning a little bit brown and then you know that it's ready to be flipped over after you flip over the crepe usually 30 seconds per side then they're done I don't like to use Teflon because they're so toxic to the body and I prefer to use my uh, Lagostina pans. They're very good. I've been using this particular pan for over 10 years and it never sticks. So they're great. I'll leave a link in the description box below. You can check them out. 
So I make my crepes over medium high heat, but again, it depends on the type of your pan you're using and the type of your stove. If it's electric or gas stove, make sure that you twirl it around and the batter covers the entire pan and just flip them over and stack them on top of each other. Keep them warm or start filling them as you go. I like to use Nutella and bananas. Well, the kids prefer that. So we like to use Nutella and bananas top it up with more fruit or you can just use any kind of jam it goes really nice with strawberry jam peanut butter and jam you can even use meats but make sure you avoid using sugar in the batter then or vanilla extract so if you want to make them savory then just cut down on the sugar just use the pinch of salt but here i'm just using basic nutella i don't put a lot so make sure you just put See, just in the middle, so that when you bite in it, you will actually taste the Nutella. You don't have to spread it all over. We'll roll them up. hope you enjoy this recipe it's really delicious it's so easy to make it looks like it's such a complicated thing but it's not i've been doing this every single day for so many years and my family never gets sick of them <laughs> if you enjoy the recipe make sure you mention that below in a comment so that's pretty easy for more recipes, please make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time.